Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss best first search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple numerical example. It is one of the heuristic search algorithm in artificial intelligence. First, we will discuss the algorithm part and then we will take one example to understand this particular algorithm. In best first search algorithm, first we need to create a two empty lists. Uh, we name those particular lists as open and closed in this case. Next, uh, we will continue with the initial node. Let us say that uh, n is the initial node. Now, we will put this particular uh, the initial node into a uh, open list that is uh, the one data structure what we have already created. And this data structure is the ordered one that is uh, all the nodes what we place over here is uh, they will be put in the increasing order over here or ascending order in this case. Repeat uh, the following steps until the goal node is uh, found or you can say that the open list is empty. So either the goal node uh, should be reached or the M open uh, list should become empty. Until any of these particular condition is satisfied, we need to repeat the following steps. So the first step in this case is uh, we need to uh, select the best node uh, from this particular open list. So initial case, we will be having only uh, the uh, initial node. So that will be selected. But uh, when we go on uh, 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 generating the different nodes, uh, we will be having multiple number of nodes in the open list. So we need to select one node from the open list, which is best one. That is the one which is having the list value to reach the goal node over here. Once you select that particular thing, we need to move that particular thing to the closed list. That is the first thing we need to do. Also, we need to capture the information of the parent node. For example, let us assume that we have selected B as the node and its parent is A. So we need to remember what is the parent of this particular node because we have selected B as the best node and its parent is A. That is required whenever we want to find the final path over here. So that is the thing written here. We need to capture the information of the parent node over here. In the next step, we will check whether this particular best node is the goal node or not. If it is a goal node, the meaning is we have reached the goal. So we will return this particular loop and then the value will be written as true over here. That means so we have reached the goal node over here. So once we reach the goal node, uh, we have to uh, use this particular backtracking so that we will get the path. So I will discuss this particular backtracking in detail in the next uh, slide where we will be discussing uh, how to apply best first search algorithm to solve a numerical example. Now let us say that this n whatever the best node you have selected that is not a goal node. If it is not a goal node what we need to do we need to expand that particular node and then generate its immediate next node that is nothing but the successors. So in, in your uh, graph or uh, the problem uh, for a particular node b let us say that there are uh, the successors are there like C and D. So we need to get those particular successors, add those particular successor to open list here. So while uh, once you add those particular things, we need to rearrange this particular open list so that it will become again in the ascending order. So that is the one more thing we need to do over here. So the, these particular four steps should be repeated unless and until we will get the goal node or there is uh, no node which is present in open list so that we can expand and get the next node over here. Now we will take one uh, simple example to understand this particular algorithm. Uh, let us say that uh, the graph is given something like this uh, where S is the goal uh, source and E is the goal node in this case. And uh, 10 is the heuristic value of this particular node. It indicates that uh, uh, 10 is the probable distance uh, to reach this particular goal node that is E from S here. Similarly, uh, this particular 7 will indicate that uh, the probable distance to reach this particular goal node uh, from B is equivalent to 7 here. Similarly, we have written this particular uh, the heuristic values from E to E it is 0 the meaning is E is the goal node over here. Now we will do one thing we will create two uh, the data structures as uh, said in the algorithm that is open and closed. Uh, initially, we will put this particular start node in this particular open and its heuristic value over here. Now nothing is present in this particular uh, uh, closed uh, uh, data structure here. Next what we need to do is uh, we need to select uh, one node from this particular open uh, data structure and then we need to put it into the closed node. Whenever we have more than one node in this particular open data structure we need to select the best one here. So that is the one more important thing. Right now or at the initial stage we have only one node on the open here. So we need to select that one and then we need to put it on the closed data structure. And then we need to see whether it is the uh, goal node or not. If it is a goal node, uh, uh, it is the end of that particular uh, the iteration. Otherwise, we need to generate the uh, next uh, the successors over here. 
So I will put this particular S on the closed node. Because S is not the goal node, we will expand it. So once you expand it, you will get A, B, C as the next immediate successors over here. So that is what I have written in this particular thing. So S has been put onto the goal uh, closed list and then A, B, C are added over here. Now once you add these particular things, we have written the heuristic values here. We need to rearrange this particular thing in such a way that these nodes are arranged in an ascending order of this particular heuristic value here. So once you do that particular thing, you will get something like this. Now uh, we have not yet reached the goal. So uh, again, we have to select one best node. So this will be the best node in this case. So I will select this particular B as the best node and then I will put it on to the closed here. So once I put this particular B here, again B is not a goal here. So we need to expand it. So once I expand it, D and H will come on this particular open list here. So C, A were present previously, D and H were added and this particular B was put into this particular closed list now. Now, uh, once you do this part of thing, again, uh, we need to rearrange these things in such a way that uh, we will get in the ascending order. So once you do that particular thing, H will come at the first step. So again, uh, we will uh, select the best node that is the first node and then we will put it in this particular, the closed list. So H will come and sit here. C, D, A are already present on the open list. Now this H is not a goal node again. So that's the reason we need to expand it. So F and G will come and sit on the open list over here. So this is how actually the things will look like. Again, we need to arrange these things in such a way that uh, the nodes will have the increasing uh, uh, heuristic values. So once you do that particular thing, this is how the open list will look like. So after this part of thing, again, we need to select one node from this particular, uh, the open uh, data structure. Uh, which is having the minimum uh, heuristic value. In this case, it is G. So G will come and sit here. These will are already present here. From this particular G, we have E over here. So we will put that particular E on the open list here. Now E was put here, G will come and sit here. Again, we need to rearrange them so that we will get the uh, nodes in the increasing order. After doing that one, we will get E at the first step over here. Now E will come on uh, sit on the closed list. And uh, if you look at this particular E, if I bring this particular E over here, E is the goal node. So we will stop our iteration over here. So E will come and sit here. And then this will be the final iteration in this case. So this is what the uh, final iteration because we have reached the goal state over here. So E is the goal state we have reached in this case. Now, uh, as stated in the algorithm, once you reach the goal state, we need to backtrack so that you will get the, what is that called as uh, the path over here. So to reach this particular E, we the parent of this one is G here. So E will be the first thing here. And then before that, its parent is equal to G here. Now, who is the parent of G? The parent of G is equal to H here. And who is the parent of H in this case? The parent of H is equal to B here. And who is the parent of B? The parent of B is equal to S here. So if you want to reach this particular goal state E, we have to go from S to B, B to H, H to G, and finally G to uh, what is that called as E here. So this is what the final uh, the path in this particular case that is shown over here. So this is a very simple way of applying a best per search algorithm in artificial intelligence to a given problem definition to find an optimal path from source node to the goal node in this case. So in this video, I have discussed uh, the best first search algorithm as well as I have discussed one numerical example. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.